Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with oh. Batman, the Batman. animated series. Batman. And now you two know what this shirt's referencing now. Well, no, 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 no. Yes. Uh, <laughs> isn't that referencing Avatar? Yeah. The animated but series. Both. The animated series. Now you see them both. Yeah. It's a crossover, just like Blind Wave and yeah. Batman. Crossing over right now. So I didn't just understand that series. until now. No, you didn't. But I think I did. Yeah. yeah. Not fully, not completely. Because it's on a black shirt. Yeah. Because you looked at this and said, Batman. Not until this moment. Man, go with the bet. Oh, I did. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Last time on Batman, we had a two-parter to open up this series, and it was about terrorists and saving ah, cats and yep. mauling bodies. And using cats to hurt people, like and people were hurting cats. Letting the law get between love. Love. What is love? It's very... What are you done? Yes. What are you done? Yes! It's never been this loud. It's been this loud it's once a before. It's Why? a hundred. <laughs> I feel it in my bones. And the bats. Zeppelin. Uh, what are they shooting at? Oh. <laughs> it looks like... Whatever it is must be right below us. Oh, man bat! It looked like bat wings. Oh, damn, we're gonna deal with man bat already? Same that way. Same that way. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's so good. Oh, man, it's so great. Look how cool Gotham looks. Look how gothic. I just think about how shaky it kind of looked there for a little yeah. bit. Like an actual <laughs> camera? I guess, yeah. I don't know what they're going for or what. You too can fulfill the dream of being a high paid radio personality in your spare time. Just like me. <laughs> Just call. So he's trying to get in the radio. He's yeah. practicing. It's funny. Yep. It's a Gotham. It's a like part-time radio personality. Does <laughs> crime happen all the time? No. Practice. Good for this guy. I hope that tape is still rolling and it, and it hears him yes. scream. Batman on his poor security guard. No! He threw him out the window. Oh, it's water. Oh. Thank God he did that. Safe. <laughs> you turned that into water, Calvin. Yeah. Come on, Commissioner. Somebody asked me a couple of questions. Well, he looks bad. Your Honor, yeah. any nutcase that dresses up like a bat sooner or later is gonna snap. If you catch him, Harvey, oh. I'll put him in jail for you. He's a fat construction worker. Dude, it's Harvey somebody. isn't even broken yet. Gotham police declare war on Batman. I gather you've been reading how to make friends and influence people. <laughs> Yeah. I'll cancel Master Bruce's rendezvous with the uh, Bambi, was it, sir? Yes, Alfred. Do that. <laughs> Bambi, was it, sir? Yeah. It's a good Alfred. I like Alfred's so hard. It's powered by urine. Calvin, this is cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just joking about the color. That. No, yeah, I know, I know. Look at that. It's really cool. Look at it. I see it. it looks weird. <laughs> I'll be a movie. That. Fuck. I, I like that. Uh oh. Community what are we doing? view. Experiment. Goodness. <gasps> You're committing adultery. That's illegal. <laughs> when? It was the 20s. <laughs> it's a very different Batman. <laughs> yeah. Police line. Do not pass. He passed. That was like a birthday banner. But it's wee -oo, wee -oo, oh, wee -oo. Whoa, what is that thing? Is that a van? It's a troop transport. It's, it looks like a double so one, bus. like, it's gonna drop oh, off some yeah. battle droids. Open up the front of it. Multi troop transport. MTT. Mm, Has no, 200, 200, 212 no, battle droids. That's not right. <laughs> Detective vision. <laughs> like the game. Mm, critical evidence. The cops call. This is the Gotham. Guano. A, like guano. a tiny tree. I love Detective Batman. I thought a car was gonna crash through the window. Shit. <laughs> what kind of force up is that? It kinda does. A special tactical dun, squad. Dun, 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 dun. Well, he can't be two places at once. Another pharmaceutical factory was just robbed across town. You've got the wrong suspect. What? Bullock. Drawn so expressive. 
really good animation. I wrote his name because I feel like we're going to see him more. His voice actor does such a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Look out for bat balls. Ooh. Gas attack. Guano gas. Why is everything guano to you? Because it's bat shit. Crazy, man. Big bat. Yeah. Hey, there he is. <laughs> I love how the inside of this cape is blue. Well. The bat's got to be in there, sir. What do you think? It's, it's flammable in there. Yeah. Oh, that's where they keep the flammables. Jesus. All the other guys died. Yeah, there were guys up on the third floor. Eric, it's like he's swinging up on the roof. <laughs> Zoo? Is it a bat that's turning into a man? Maybe. I called about a bat problem. What do you think we are? Pest control? Why, well, just need. Yes, yes, come in. Why, thank you, Doctor. Bruce always seems so nice. Yep. See, I keep hearing squeaks in my chimney, and I found these in my empty fireplace. They look like hairs. I'm Francine Langstrom. I think you spoke with my husband on the phone. Oh, Mr. Wayne, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm Kirk Langstrom. I think he likes bats better than people. I can't imagine. I brought you this, too. It's a recording I made of the noise in my chimney. Jesus! It's <laughs> <laughs> hilarious! Doesn't sound like any bat I've heard. That's great. <laughs> Crazy. I'm just picturing like if that came out of my yeah. chimney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bat? <laughs> we record this. I didn't realize you'd taken up listening to rock and roll, sir. A call for Master Bruce from a Dr. March. Oh man, March. Hey, what's up, Doc? Yeah, so weird. What about the sound on the tape? It's actually two sounds, starlings and brown bats. Bye-bye. This computer checked that fiber against every Jesus animal species known boss. to man. Bye bye. This computer. Hey, Doc. Sounds not originated by either species. Giant I would say, sir, so, that we have ourselves an incongruity. Incongruity, Alfred? He's lying. And I'm going to find out why. Is he the man bat? Dr. March? Incongruity? Oh. Dr. Langstrom. Budson. Langstrom sounds familiar. He's burning the tape! With the bugs! And the hair. Can't fight it. It's got me. Is it like a medicine chemical thing? It was like blood. You know? Man, that I window just opened. You assume what? Medicine. I knew we'd discovered a formula to create a totally new species. Yeah. <laughs> Neither cool. man nor bat. Page Once I started taking it, I couldn't stop. <laughs> He's using sonar. He's <laughs> like the predator. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hyde. <laughs> He's wearing his pants. <laughs> Oh. I get shot from rabies now. Oh. Yes. Back to be back. Oh, back to them. The same two. Seems that way. It's right below us. <laughs> oh. Captain Command, we need choppers. We've sighted the Batman. He's riding a. Batman. Man. Uh, oh, man. Animate. Yeah. Take her up, Lieutenant. Yeah, thank hey, you. He chucked in. That's so dangerous. Yeah, it is. The parallax is so good. Echo locate now. There he is. There they are. Careful. Oh, watch what out. What is that thing? Punching it. Slapped it. Oh. <laughs> That's 
cool shot like that. Oh, yeah. Two for dinner, sir. I got a list of all the items stolen from the chemical labs. Who would have thought they'd be used to create a monster? Maybe I can undo the fate Langstrom has brought upon himself. Is he all right? Brad, okay. Will he change again? No. The formula's out of his system. It's over. For now. For, what do you mean for now? Yeah. Well, he if he tries to, to make it. If he, yeah. If he tries to do it again, it's gonna be bad. This was an eventful episode. I really thought it was gonna have to be a two-part because I was like, there's no way we're gonna tie this up in one yeah. episode. And we did. We did. Man Bat. Yeah. It's Man Bat. Yeah. Have you ever seen anything with Man Bat in it? Uh, no. The name Langstrom sounds familiar, Langstrom. but that could be in other stuff or something. I, I will say, like, I got a lot of feelings. Yeah. I got a lot of feelings of, uh, um, I don't know, I don't want to spoil it, I guess, but it felt very similar to a story I had in, like, another 90s TV show. All sure. the way to, like, the blonde other doctor lady. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, so I was like, I'm really feeling like this story beat, you know? But. <laughs> yeah, I know, I mean, you know, dates back at least to Jekyll and Hyde, right? This sort of story of mild-mannered person changing into this terrible monster. Sure, yeah. yeah. And introduces us to uh, Detective Bullock. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, we met Detective Bullock, which I felt like he just felt more unique than other characters we've met. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of those, like, just random cop guys that just kind of feel like a random cop guy. So I wrote him down because I figured he'll be important. We also saw Harvey Dent. We did. Flipping yeah. his coin. When I saw the coin being flipped, I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. so. This DA, District Attorney, Harvey Dent. Yeah. So that's cool. And we might get to see him maybe turn into Two Face then. Sure. Rather than it just being he's already two. I don't know if we have enough episodes for that. Isn't there like eighty five? <laughs> <laughs> Say we saw Catwoman and Man Bat in the first three episodes. Yep. <laughs> this is moving yeah, it, fast. I I like the radio personality guard. That was hilarious. Uh, There's a lot of funny stuff in this. Oh movie. yeah. I like that. But then I also love like here's what I here's the sound I heard from my chimney. I recorded this. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Move! <laughs> it, it, I just, like, after that happened, it was silly, but then I started thinking about, like, if it wasn't Batman and yeah. someone actually, this is the real story, I'm like, I can't imagine someone being so calm, being like, I heard this in my chimney, what do you think it is? And yeah. it's just like a, a lion roaring from your chimney, <laughs> yeah. you know? It's a bat and a starling, which is a teeny little bird just I mean, fighting. To be fair, like, foxes aren't that scary, but they sound horrifying. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. you mean they're like, so like knows child yipping? screaming kind of noises? Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. I think we heard Especially one. Animal noise I think I heard like a coyote attacking yeah. one like by our house one day, and Aww. Melanie was a, she thought there was a kid out there. Yeah. Like, no, it can't be a kid. Oh yeah, coyotes sound like women like running through the forest screaming for help. Sometimes like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's how they trick you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there's fucking 15 of them. Like, Ooh, damn like, it. Uh, those tapirs that actually, like, mm -hmm. they've, like, had people run out into the woods to yep. try and, like, save a woman because they sound like a yeah. woman screaming. The uh, beginning of the Legend of the Wendigo, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember, but I feel like, like, Batman had blood on his face here after Man Bat ran into the wall. Yeah. I feel like it's the first time I saw blood in a cartoon. Hmm. Maybe. I'm trying hmm. to think of before. Why I've seen blood in a cartoon. It's in like a Before oil this. from like Transformers. But not like blood. Yeah. When did this come out? Didn't we see blood on Batman's arm when uh, 93? When, when she scratched him in episode one? We saw like red marks. But I don't think we saw blood. I mean that was that was red marks. No, he had like blood on his face. Like blood. Blood. Blood? Blood blood. I mean it's the same color. 92. What are they? By the way, Calvin, who were you pointing at? Oh, it's Robert Costanzo. Yeah. I, I said I see him. I see his voice coming out of a fat construction worker, which he is in Total Recall. Oh, You've yeah, seen him in a bunch yeah. of stuff. I've seen him in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, that guy? Yeah. yeah. Sure. You know what's weird? I didn't notice. Oh, go ahead. The episode, because I was like, well, I was going to look at the episode thing on this, and yeah. episode one was the cat and claw part one yep. and then number two was on leather wings mm -hmm. and i was like what and i scrolled down a little bit of the like, cat and claw part two wasn't until episode eight yep that's so weird yeah. huh that 
there's there. a lot, like I said, there's a lot of different types of order stuff. We're just going with HBO Max's, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. Like, he has blood coming out of his nose and his mouth. Yeah. Like, dripping. It's so cool. And then the whiteness, like, like he goes pure white whenever that light shows up. They just, like, shines they do right colors so cool yeah. in this. Do they, considering they're just drawing. Do they <laughs> change the color of the paper? Because I feel like sometimes they use black paper, yeah. red paper, and white paper, depending on me. the ambience. Yeah. I, I don't know, for sure. But it just it has a depth to it. It has that, that, other, like, that deep grain. Yeah, I like all cartoons, but nothing for me, on, I, granted, rose-colored glasses, but nothing to me has like the depth it shows. I mean, that blimp like, coming through those clouds made me think of Hayao Miyazaki. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just the, the grain in this otherwise flat color of his cape in this shot here like you can just see mm-hmm. like little fibers of the paper sticking up mm-hmm. and it just gives it so much more depth sure yeah it's like a furry look almost to it yeah it's really cool yeah i don't know what other shows would have had like blood in the cartoon like i'm trying to think about before 92 yeah you know uh, american shows that i would have watched i can't think of anything i mean there was like uh heavy metal I think came out before this, and that was like graphic. Sure. Well, yeah. Even the uh, American but, like, version. What's going like, to be on Cartoon Network or whatever? You yeah. know, I don't know. Sure. Fox, Nickelodeon you know, and stuff like that. Wherever this was. Um, but even like the uh, Dragon Ball Z, like uh, American versions, like they changed censored. colors and censored yeah, things yeah. and stuff like that too. Where it's like, well, it's not quite the same. Sure. Yeah. Didn't they do that with Piccolo when he got his arm ripped off? They gave him uh, purple, purple blood yeah. instead of red. Yeah. Yeah, um, I only just noticed this, but uh, a, a gentleman called Clive Reville voices Alfred, and he was the first version of the Emperor in Empire Strikes Back. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Marjorie Eaton is the name of the woman that actually is doing the, the, face. the face, and they use chimpanzee eyes, and then it's his voice. The son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. You know, and that's before. Alfred here. That's what it was before. Yeah, it's Alfred here, Clive Revell. Oh. Before they got uh, a Ian, he's, uh, Ian a, McDermott, a New yeah. Zealand actor, I believe. Because then in return the Jedi, Ian McDermott yeah. took the role, and then he's been yeah. in ever since. Well, with the exception of like little, yeah. little things. Palpatine's first sure. voice is <clears throat> there. That's cool. neat. Yeah, Alfred's a lot of fun in this show. He's yeah, like the, the right level of snark. Dinner for want. two, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I loved having, you know, they have just Batman there, and he uses the Bruce Wayne voice. Mm-hmm. So and then he just flawlessly just goes yeah, into the... Yeah, it's great. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> and... His computer needs yes. to run through. Well, and, he, <laughs> and he doesn't use my voice. He uses Bruce... Like, they talk about Bruce Wayne as the other, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, well, yeah, there's no reason for him to talk like Batman no. or Alfred, because Alfred no. knows. But that's his real voice. But that's, yeah. Like, yeah. Alfred asked him if Bambi and Bruce Wayne's date should break, not if... Your date with Bambi. I love it. And you know that Alfred's probably just like, you know, he's sick. <laughs> no, I just gotta go along with it. <laughs> sure, yeah. He's the boss. He's got money. I just need to stick it out till retirement. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is fun. I also enjoyed the random guys in the blimp being like, oh, I saw something. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're seeing things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I promise. But then you bring it back around again to where it yeah. happens another time. And, and it's a it's a cool way to show us like what the inside of those Zeppelins look like and mm-hmm. that there, there are people in there and everything. Because and what that, they're for. That like well. is such a iconic keepsake for this version of Gotham is there's always like Zeppelins over the city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. What do you think of like starting the series off with Catwoman and then Man Bat. Mm-hmm. Um, like they're not I mean, the most it's, iconic. It's, it's interesting that we're not getting like any kind of like it doesn't feel like we're being eased into what Batman no. is. Like, yeah, like not, we haven't got any backstory of Batman. No, they're yeah, not even. No. They don't even really like make sure the audience knows nope. that Batman and Bruce Wayne are the same person. It's just kind of like they go yeah. like the first few episodes were like you should know. You yeah. know, and it's like... I mean, this episode, it's pretty obvious when he sure. answers the phone and changes his voice, yeah. sure. but still. But like, I mean, the first two and stuff, like, you don't see him changing. You see, here's Batman, yeah. and then later on, you see Bruce Wayne being auctioned off, and mm-hmm. they introduce them as, like, separate people. But, like, if you know, you know. And yeah. then eventually, it's just like, well, yeah, now you, you get it's, to it's a completely different type of intentional storytelling than we usually cover on the channel, because, like, when they made that first one, and they show it to kids, they don't want people thinking, oh, this is the first episode. They want you thinking, 
this is one of many adventures that you want to make sure you're here for Batman every week, kids. Sure. You know? Like, I've already missed out on what Batman yeah. is, right? Mm-hmm. Like, he's been doing this. It's yeah. not like day one Batman. This is... All the, all the information you need is the intro. That's what Batman does. Go watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all it is. He sneaks around in the dark, and he captures he, bad guys, and yeah. doesn't the And then he slowly closes his eyes a little bit. He does. <laughs> well, every eyes episode so man. far, at least, like we get a mix between action Batman, detective Batman. I do like that. A little bit of Bruce Wayne. Like mm-hmm. Bruce Politician is the one Bruce to Wayne, go to yeah. the bat experts and try to figure it sure. out. He just so happened to find the exact expert, who is in fact the man bat. Well, and are there many? How many bat experimenting? I don't know. Study people are you know? in Gotham, especially in Gotham. Yeah, yeah. There's probably not very many. I mean, you know? it's very gothic. Like yeah. if I had to go find a bank that's holding someone's money, that might be harder. Or go to a church, that might be harder. But how many people are studying bats? Do you think yeah. we have a bat expert in Marietta? I <laughs> bet you we don't have many. I'm gonna try to Google it, <laughs> see if I can find one. If, I, if there's more than two, I bet you're gonna I, get like. Then I'm gonna say control. there's like a hundred in Gotham. I have a friend who was a cop. And there were many instances when they were called to deal with bats in people's houses. That doesn't make them an expert. I'm just saying there was no one better to call. Yeah, that right. just means so there is no expert. That, that, that just means that that animal control and mental health like facilities are underfunded, and no one else can think of anything better to call than the police. Wait, That's what that is. Why the mental health one? I mean, just because cops are called for literally everything. Oh, they not be. because of the bat. Okay, it's not a specific like. Because you called the police. Yeah. Obviously, mental <laughs> mental places. Like we have a dog warden, about. but we don't have animal control. Sure. Like if there's anything like a skunk or something like that, or a lion. Who, who do you call? Or a zebra. Yeah. Or a giraffe. Like the thing. Up Which in, that happened about an hour and a half away from us. Well, yeah. like in uh, yeah in, <laughs> in Zanesville. Zanesville, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the deputy sheriffs were sent out, and there was no other option for animal control, so they just killed them all. How's it going, Eric? Covered Did you find any bat experts in Marietta? Covered in the... Uh, There's Hagen. Get Bats Out, which is a 24-hour exterminator. Oh, really? I could have used that once. Yeah. Or twice. But they're also... Where are the bat experts they're regional, now? Not yeah. Marietta. Now you gotta call so, us. Oh, yeah. They're not in Marietta. So, you see, it'd be hard to find bat experts. So, I don't I don't fault Batman yeah. for coincidentally finding... Yeah, bats. Marietta, a town of, bat. of population about 14,000 is equivalent to Gotham City. It's pretty close. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Batman the Animated Series. we got a bunch more lined up for you each and every week. Please hit the subscribe button. But if you're very impatient, we reward impatience at patreon.com. We need a blank. You can watch next week. Let's call them impatrons. <laughs>